everyone. My name is Lisa Priya Kumujum. I am nine years old. I am an Indian climate activist and the founder of the child movement. I am fighting to save our planet and our future. Um, thank you so much, Tadex Mika, for inviting me to speak in this program. I was born in Manipur, which is a small, beautiful northeastern state of India, but I have grown up in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. My birthplace is surrounded by lush green mountains and alluring atmosphere. I came to Delhi in 2016 for the first time, but my life became very messy due to the high air pollution and it turned me into a child climb activist. Later, I moved to Bhubanesh for Odisha for my schooling, and again, my home in Odisha was hit by Cyclone Tidley in 2018 and Cyclone Fani in 2019. All such incidents in my young life turned me into a child climate activist. Um, and when I was just around four years old, I accompanied my dad for raising funds for the peep, for the victims of the deadly. Massive Nepal earthquake of 2015, where more than 10,000 people died and lakhs of people got injured. We went to Nepal all the way from India, by the road to drop the foodstuffs, medicines, clothes, etc. for the victims, children and families. I get scared when on television I see people suffering and dying due to lack of awareness. I cry when I see children losing their parents or people becoming homeless due to danger of disasters. My country has many disasters like earthquake, flood, landslide, earthquake, cyclones, locust, air pollution, typhoon, etc. at the same time. These are all the impact of climate change. And also that was the first time where I hear the word climate change and natural disasters. Um, but I couldn't realize what exactly it is as I was a small baby that time. Now I realize that this could be the main reason why I'm concerned about our planet and our future. And you see, why should I talk about the climate change? Why should I get worried about the global warming? Why should I talk to the people about the various environmental issues happening around the world? I have to read my books, I have to play with my friends, I have to study. I have to enjoy my beautiful childhood life, but our leaders do all our beautiful childhood life. Climate change is not only for me or for you or for someone else. Climate change problem is for every single person living in this world. Each and every child living in this country, living in this world are already the victims of climate change. That's why I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. And um, you can just see in Daddy how air pollution is so dangerous. Even children can't move out of their homes. I'm worried about the health of the school children and small babies. Government announced that, that they will ban the firecrackers for two three weeks, will install two three smoke tower in two three places. But these are not the permanent solution. We don't want any temporary solution. We want permanent solution. And also I. And also, our leaders are just busy in blaming each other instead of finding a long-term solution. They are just saying the speech, they are not doing any action. I want our world leaders to do more action, otherwise our future and our planet would be dying soon. They must act now to save our planet and our future. And also, you can just see in Arctic and Malias how icebergs are melting twice as fast than ever before. And now sea level are increasing and our earth is becoming very hot. I'm worried about the future of our planet. And many biodegradable hotspots become climate hotspots now. And also, um, you can, I think you all heard in the news about Australia bushfire, California wildfire, Amazon rainforest fire and Siberia forest fire. Billions of animals has died, millions of trees has gone. I'm really very sad. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't even take my food. Many children lost their homes, but these are all the real effect of climate change. And why our leaders don't have the time to listen to us and our voice? 
But this is a real climate emergency. They must act now to save our planet and our future. And and also um, I have visited and also when I was six years old in in July 2018, um, I have I've got a chance to attend one United Nations disaster conference in Mongolia. It was my life changing event. After I returned back from Mongolia in July 2018, I have started my organization called the Child Movement to call the world leaders to take immediate climate action to save our planet and our future. And also Greta Thunberg greatly influenced me in February 2019. Since then, at Parliament House of India, I am standing and I am telling to our honorable Prime of India. Mr. Narendra Modi and their MPs to pass the climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to come action. If they pass this climate change law, then we can control the carbon emission and greenhouse gases. I dropped out my school since February 2019 due to my protest every week in the Parliament House of India. I have three main demands to our leaders and the government to change the system. Number first is to pass this climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to go to become action. If they pass this climate change law, then we can control the carbon emission and greenhouse gases. And also it will give the climate justice to the millions to the thousands of poor vulnerable people who are already the big themes of climate change. Number second is to include climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum. If they included climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum, then we can fight the climate change from the grassroots and it will also help to teach our world leaders by their own children and grandchildren because they can't believe in science and climate change is real. And number third is a student must plant minimum 10 trees every year. In India, there are 350 million students. If 350 million students plant minimum 10 trees every year, then we would plant over 3.5 billion trees. Trust me, India will be green in after five years. And also, as a result, the state of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Sikkim, Maharashtra, and Bihar has taken a new initiative to include climate change as a compulsory subject in our school education curriculum. After my request, from zero to over, lakhs of schools in India will start teaching climate education in various schools. And now India has become the second country in the world taking such initiative after Italy in the history of the world. This is the real change we want and this is the real change bring by just nine years old girls. And also um, several protests and petition filled to Supreme Court, to many other climate, and uh, to many other climate activist friends. Finally, President of India enacted a new air pollution law um, in October 2020 for the first time in the history of the world. And to solve the Delhi air pollution crisis um, permanently, even I was detained by the uh, Delhi police for the protest to enact the law. And many people told me that uh, I'm too young to get involved in such activism. But I proved them that age doesn't matter to make a difference. I am big or small, it doesn't matter. I am a girl child. I'm strong, smart, intelligent and brave. Many children and youth inspire from me. And also, a few months back, I launched a new initiative called Monday for Mother Nature, where I plant thousands of trees with the school children every every week in monday um with a mission to plant one million trees every year um and also we have planted over 3.5 lakhs trees and today i have a small message to all the children and the people of the world children must tell their parents that they should walk if it's nearby or they can use the bicycle please don't use car or bike every time and children must tell their parents that they shouldn't use single-use plastic at their home. And please don't throw gar garbage or plastic on street, ocean, river, seas or any other places. And also, I want our government to shut down all the, uh, all the coal power plants and thermal power plants and replace it by clean energy. And also, um, I want to see more electric and solar vehicles instead of more petrol and diesel vehicles. 
and also these are the small things where we can do to at home to fight the climate change and these little things can make a huge difference thank you and today i have a Today, I want to share something with everyone living in this world from my little heart. We all know we are facing a pandemic on one side, and flood, drought, heat wave, cyclone, locust, earthquake, air pollution, typhoon, etc. at the other side. This is the time to wake up. This is the time to open up your eyes. This is the time to send your children and grandchildren to fight for the survival and for their own future. The best gift parents can give to their children is not beautiful house, expensive cars, lots of money. The best gift you can give to your children is a beautiful planet. To give this planet, you have to change yourself. If you can change yourself, then you can change your family. If you can change your family, then you can change your neighborhood. If you can change your neighborhood, then you can change your community. If you can change your community, then you can change your state. If you can change your state, then you can change your country. If you can change your country, then you can change the whole world. Change means empowerment. Empowerment means independent. Independent means freedom. Freedom is when you can protect your land and environment. Freedom is when you can protect your children's future, culture, and health. Freedom is when no one can discriminate you on the basis of caste, creed, color, sex, or any other differences. And freedom is when you can read and write. Freedom is when you're out of hunger. Freedom is when we are all together in this fight. Fight for your freedom. Thank you. Jai Hind. Sanali Bamani Purna Jai Thank you once again.